Wow, working with Carter has been like my dream come true on the show. He is so young, but yet so talented and it's so easy and natural for him. His instincts are so pure and um, it's just been a joy to work with him and mind blowing. I mean, he's literally has so much flow with the way that he sings a song and um, there's not really a lot to do except for just try to find the right song. And that's probably the biggest challenge just because he hasn't really been in love and just finding a song that's appropriate for his age. Um, also, I feel like at that age, you don't really know what kind of music you're gonna do. You're still discovering music. So it's kind of like he's not cooked yet all the way. So it's kind of hard to find songs, but I, I feel like we got a great one for tonight. We're so excited about. You know, working with young kids on this show is, um, it really is my dream. And I can't imagine at all being them in this position. I can't imagine being on the show at all, let alone be a, being a child and being in a competition over a vocal. Because it's kind of, music shouldn't really be a competition in the first place. And, and everybody's so different, you know, there's no way to really compete as vocalists really at the end of the day. So um, it, I think adding the young age to the whole thing, it, it blows my mind and it just, it's super inspiring to be around them because I don't know how to describe it, but because they're so innocent and they have so much uh, talent all at one time, it's just, it's just super inspiring and you feel super responsible. You know, and that's the one thing about being around as long as I have and kind of like doing it all already. It's just so fun to share um, my experience and sort of like be like, try this or try that. And this worked and this didn't. And, you know, we kind of learn from each other. You know, Saving Ben was even a surprise to me. <laughs> I had talked to Blake about it. He had said, you know, Ben's really good and you know this show is known all the coaches are always trying to get a country artist on their team because everybody wants to beat Blake and um, it's one of those situations where I knew that with it was kind of going to be between Paige and Ben for me in my brain like but it really isn't until the last minute till you decide but um, I kind of knew that Paige is she's very super artistic and sort of like outside of a competition talent wise. Like I felt like Ben had more of a chance this, this time around because he's a country artist. And also on top of that, he did an amazing performance. And I wasn't the only one that, that was surprised by it. Like all the coaches were talking about his performance. So it just felt like, okay, in the moment, I'm just gonna do it. And if you go back and watch it, you can see that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, I, I, it, it, it killed me to let Paige go, but I felt like in the game of the whole thing, Ben had a better chance. Therefore, I guess I had a better chance, but it's not really about me winning, it's about somebody winning. So um, yeah, and I'm number one on country radio today with Blake Shelton. So I felt like if I have an opportunity to work with a country artist, Ben's the guy. So it's been really fun to work with him and different and weird and um, yeah. And I have a big shot with him, I think. For me being on The Voice, one of my favorite parts is being able to get dressed up. And this season being a short season, when I was trying to figure out like my different outfits that I get to work, like work on the whatever on TV, I was like, there's only like six outfits. I was like, what? Like only six? Like it was really hard to choose. Um, tonight I got to work with Dolce Gabbana who made my outfit for my performance, which is like a dream come true. Um, and uh, yeah, that's really one of the, the perks of being on The Voice. Yeah, tonight and today is a huge day for me. Um, I haven't released a single outside of Christmas and being on amazing country songs with Blake Shelton uh, in five years. So um, I have new music coming out today. I have a song called Let Me Reintroduce Myself and I get to perform it here tonight live on The Voice. And it's a, it's a pretty big deal because we are in the middle of a pandemic and to be able to be on TV and perform live music brand new, it's, uh, it's beyond. All, I've been praying all week, please don't let us get closed down. Please, my performance, just get, you know. So, and also I'm just so excited for my team to perform tonight as well. There's probably two things that I always look forward to. One is those little 
green Christmas wreaths made out of, I mean, they're nothing. They're like marshmallows and food coloring and, and cornflakes, but I always look forward to eating those. And then um, at Christmas, we do, uh, we have a new tradition in the last few years called the Pentama, Pentano, yeah, Pentano Dome. It's an Italian, kind of like a lasagna thing that we started doing, me and Blake. And um, I'm looking forward to doing one of those again, too. It's literally like how much, how fat can you get with one serving of one thing? It's like how many different things can you put in one in your mouth at the same time? So I'm excited to do that. <laughs> At this stage in the competition, I, I think my main advice is um, trying to get their own personalities to come out. You know, um, it's really hard when you're doing covers of other people's songs to like be really like um, true to whatever the song is without changing it up too much, but also letting people know who you are and and getting people to to love you and fall in love with you and get to know you because people really fall in love with the voice, but also the human being that they learn about on TV. So it's really about just letting it all go and letting people know who you are. And that's kind of what I keep trying to just be more of you, you know, let it out, so. You know, as the reigning champion uh, right here on The Voice, as far as coaches go, uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just sailing along here, you know. I, I, it's gotten to the point where, you know, it's so easy for Team Blake to win. I mean, I did it from my house last year, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't even know why I showed up. Uh, I think the other coach that's, that's giving me the biggest run uh, for my money this season would have to be a combination of all three of the other coaches because it takes that many to compete with me, you know what I'm saying? At this stage of the competition, I always advise my artists to, uh, to just soak in the moment and enjoy it because this is once in a lifetime, whether you're established like the coaches or you're up and coming. I mean, this, is, this show is as big as it gets. So just soak it in and, and, and enjoy it if you can. Uh, my favorite food, holiday food, that I only have this time of year would probably be uh, Mm, candy cane. I like candy canes and I like to stick them and stir them, uh, use them as a stir stick for my drink. Gives it a little extra Christmas pep per mint. I am so excited to have my first country artist, Bailey Ray, and then to have that artist who Blake and Kelly figured would be up for a steal by the second round or the third round, to have that artist make it all the way to the top nine and to have done so in such a dramatic fashion with the instant save, I am so proud of her and I'm so happy I've gotten to coach Bailey Ray. Well, I have three amazing singers. Uh, John Holiday, he sings opera, he sings jazz, he sings soul, he sings pop, he can do anything. Tamara Jade is so soulful and such a dynamic human being. She's so funny and fun to be around. And then Bailey Ray is just classic country. She is unadulterated, un, um, untempered with, untampered with. She's just the genuine article when it comes to country music. She has that little slide in her voice, the little yodel, the little twang, and it's so good. My main advice for artists is to make an impact. Do something that people are going to remember. Strike at their emotions, make them feel something. And so when we're working on the song, I'm always talking about emotion. I'm always talking about how do you get the most emotional, beautiful performance out of yourself. And that's what we're gonna to try to do. Eggnog is the classic that you have once a year. Of course, I'll have some eggnog. We do beef wellington for dinner, and we never make it the rest of the year, though we love it. We should make it again, but it feels very holiday and it feels like a special occasion kind of dish. Um, those are a couple that I love for the holidays. I turned for Cami Clooney um, in the blinds. I think she was a four chair turn um, as well. And I've been a fan since then. I love how intense she is. Um, I love how different she is. Nobody's really in that pop rock kind of 
indie cool vein. Like no, nobody's anywhere near that on this show. So um, she had a lane all to herself. And I kind of saw that as a really big advantage because you start to think as a coach, which person, they're all talented at this point. You, all, you want them all to go through, but which person has the best shot you know, to move forward, and it becomes a little strategic as well to try and see who you can get to the finale, you know. And um, she just, to me, ha ha has the best shot, and y'all are going to love what she does this week. Team Kelly is the team to beat this week um, in the sense I have, I don't know, like, it's so funny. Des and, Cam Des and Cammy are so different, but they're vo both very intense and they're vo both very powerful. Um, in their own ways and that's the thing that I have going for me this season like my team is extremely powerful um, and and even though they're different it, it's just a very hard thing to beat when when especially these two women they exude such confidence and 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 just such um, soulfulness in their own you know little lanes and I think that's the difference like I, I mean I like all everybody that's left but my team is very powerful if I had one word that would be it You know what? This season was so packed with great singers that I, I don't, I think the one that actually ended up surprising me the most isn't still here. Like, I, I knew Cammy was so talented. I knew Des was so talented. I knew all of that. Paige, um, who was on um, Gwen's team, she grew on me. I loved her, um, especially since she covered Creep and the knockouts, I don't know when it was, or the bat. I can't remember when she, when she did that, but it was insane. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I liked her from the beginning, but I feel like Paige like, showed the most growth this season. Um, and she, I don't think she's on um, Gwen's team anymore, but um, that just goes to show like how talented the season is. Um, there's so many gifted people here. And you know, now it's up to America. You know, we don't really vote anymore. It's up to y'all, who do you want to make it, so. You know what, fan week is so important, and I feel like I get that more than any other coach just because my whole career is because people voted for me. So I really, really get how amazing how amazing and how much leverage your fan base can create for you. Like, to have a fan base that's already excited about you before you even have an album is amazing as an artist. Um, you know, you have that to go into the label and go, look, they love what I'm doing. They love my choices. They love my style, my vibe. Like, that's a that's a big thing. So you're, the fans of the show and the fact that they start to get included in what you sing on the show, that's really important. Um, I wasn't shocked that they wanted Des to sing in Vogue by any means. I was like, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> The main advice I give to artists at this point is to have fun. It sounds like such a cliche statement, but here's the thing. Even really super talented people that don't deserve to go home, go home. You know, it's a game only one person can win, and it doesn't mean you're not worthy or it doesn't negate your talent or worth. Like, it, all it means is for whatever reason, whoever voted that night had the chance, and they were impressed by this other song and this other moment. And, and so it really is just to have fun, and, and I always, even like, almost 20 years in still think like man what if this is my last time I get to perform you know I always think like that um, and I think that's a good way to think because it could be and you want to really enjoy it and not lose that innocence of it hands down favorite food and drink for the holidays uh, a pinot noir and or a mulled wine I love when I go to some like some person's house. Well, nobody's going to anybody's house this is Christmas. Um, but and then I love pumpkin pie. Oh, with whipped cream. That's my favorite.